On November 28, 2024, the Japanese government announced that its National Security Council had given the green light for the potential export of advanced frigate technology to Australia. This marks a significant milestone in the ongoing collaboration between the two nations, particularly in the defense sector. The approval comes after Australia selected Japan's proposal as a finalist in its ambitious effort to modernize the Royal Australian Navy's fleet, replacing the aging Anzac-class frigates with more capable, future-proof vessels. At the heart of the Australian Naval Modernization Project is Japan's proposal for the Raiwa 6-class escort ship, a cutting-edge design that stands out for its superior air defense capabilities, modularity, and flexibility in operations. This frigate builds upon the Mogami-class vessels currently serving in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, JMSDF, with notable upgrades in radar systems, missile capabilities, and electronic warfare technologies. The Raiwa 6-class frigate is an upgraded variant of the Mogami-class, designed to meet the evolving demands of modern naval warfare. Not only does it offer enhanced air defense through a vertical launch system, VLS, that can deploy surface-to-air missiles, but it also features increased automation, allowing for reduced crew size. This focus on automation is particularly relevant to Australia, which faces challenges in managing its naval personnel and seeks solutions to optimize its fleet's operational efficiency. Australia's decision to include Japan in its naval modernization program reflects the growing defense partnership between the two nations. The Australian government aims to improve its domestic shipbuilding capabilities, and as part of this project, the first three frigates will be built overseas, with subsequent units to be constructed under license in Australia. This approach ensures that Australia can rapidly address its operational needs while simultaneously enhancing its industrial base for long-term strategic benefits. Japan's inclusion as a contender for Australia's future naval fleet is a testament to its rising stature as a defense exporter. It underscores the country's increasing role as a reliable partner in the Indo-Pacific, where both nations share common security interests, particularly in response to regional threats. While Japan's proposal is a strong contender, it faces competition from Germany's Miko A-200, a proven and highly flexible design that has been a cornerstone of German naval exports for decades. The Miko A-200 is well regarded for its modular construction, which allows it to be adapted for a wide range of mission profiles, from coastal defense to high seas operations. It is equipped with advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities, robust air defense systems, and the potential to integrate Australian technologies, such as the CEA radar and SOBS combat management systems. The Miko A-200's compact design and operational efficiency make it an attractive option for the Royal Australian Navy. However, Japan's bid brings additional strategic considerations to the table, with a focus on deepening defense ties with Australia in the Indo-Pacific region. The final decision on Australia's future naval fleet will be shaped by both technical and strategic factors. Japan's frigate technology offers cutting-edge advancements in stealth, automation, and multi-mission capabilities, while Germany's Miko A-200 provides a proven, flexible solution with long-standing reliability. Both countries bring valuable strengths to the table, but Japan's growing defense partnership with Australia could tip the scales in favor of the Raiwa 6-class frigate. This decision is not only a critical element of Australia's defense strategy, but also an indication of how the Indo-Pacific region's security landscape is evolving. By selecting Japan, Australia signals its commitment to strengthening ties with a like-minded partner in the region, reinforcing shared security interests and ensuring that its naval forces are equipped to meet the challenges of the future.